Yeah, what up? I'm not Kel Smith. You know, growing up where I come from, Snoop Dogg is very appropriate, and I understand where he's coming from and the stuff that he talks about. And then Gons from my, you know, for me finding skateboarding and, and using that to have an outlet, having those two people collaborate with Adidas is awesome because it's basically two, two different sides of my world that come together. I really like the event, like having all these old school cars out and it's at Randy's Donuts and that's like, it's, a, it's all home to me so it's like really awesome. Well the main thing I remember about Snoop is when he was in Long Beach on top of that record store and they did that video up on top. I just remember always driving by that thinking to myself like damn like Snoop was on top of this building, you know? The collab with Snoop and Gons, two insane like legends in their own industries and to have that together there's nothing better than that, man. Mark Gonzalez, godfather of skateboarding, and I feel like Snoop's the godfather of like hip-hop and stuff like that. You put that together, you're not going to get nothing but gold. What's the first time you learned about guns? Years ago, man, when I seen him uh, doing tricks, you know, because I had got involved and seen a lot of my homeboys was in the mix, and I had discovered him and as far as how he was always on the edge and different and not, you know, doing what regular skaters was doing, but he had a different style about himself too. And he was an LA guy, so made it, you know, that much more easier to really accept him and to follow him and to get down with him being so close to Long Beach where he was from. Um, we want to talk about how this uh, Adidas collab came about? Well, you know, me and Guy has been doing things for years now, so Adidas is our team and they felt that putting us together would be a great, you know, combination, so we was, you know, alone for the ride. We felt like it's a great, you know, situation. Two guys who are basically from the same world, but we have a different perspective. And if you put that perspective together, this is what you get. The hell of a shoe, like the one you're wearing, like the one I'm wearing. That shit tight. It look good on you. <laughs> I didn't know you had it on. Have you ever smoked with any skaters? If so, who? Oh, man, a whole bunch of them, but I ain't going to say their names. But, you know, <laughs> when I pull up, they know what it is. Actually, for that movie, the scene was when I pulled up, I pulled up on them, and then we started smoking, and they yeah. kept skating. It was like a natural. They didn't know I was going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was it was one of those, oh, what's happening, Snoop Dogg? What's up? And, okay. Well, all right now. Well, I'm back to work. Me too. Skating on. Yeah, I remember. It was, yeah, it was beautiful, though. It was a... Because it's a, it's a mutual respect, you know, for, for our craft, for what I do and for what they do. It's a mutual respect that... Anytime you put your time and your effort into being great and you become great, when greatness is around you, I see the greatness in you. What do you like most about skating? That you gotta be original. You can't be a copy. You can't be a, a almost like or a wannabe. You have to be yourself, you have to be original. That's the only way that you'll make it in the skate world. And that industry is pure because you must be diverse, unique, and original to survive.